to pull over for a minute. Um, they say everything's bigger in Texas. Yeah. What do you think, babe? Put down the selfie stick. <laughs> Enjoy the scenery. I think it's... Uh... Does it feel bigger here? Everything feels bigger here. Yeah, it's true. So, we made it to Texas. It's a pretty large state. Everything is bigger here. And I imagine we are gonna be here for probably a month, to be honest. Yeah, but it'll be cool. We're excited. We're gonna eat a lot of barbecue. You guys ready to see our super sweet camp spot? Huh? Huh? First time staying overnight in a parking lot. I think today we are gonna head to Dallas, maybe? Or part of the way? We're just gonna see how we feel. That was the tour of the Windmill Museum from the road because we're in Texas and it's Sunday and we did not realize that literally everything is closed. I think we're gonna head to Dallas now because there's not much to do because everything's closed. our bike rack's a little sketchy. Basically the welds are really crappy and we're gonna have to find an alternative. Well this sucks. So our bikes almost fell off and I guess that's why you do a walk around the rig every time you get out. It looks like one of the welds completely sheared off. Honestly, the quality of it is fine. It's just the design is really bad. I don't know why they made it the way they did, but either we're gonna get it fixed or we're gonna go and buy a new one altogether. That just works better. Dang old design flaws. Cracker barrel, nailed it. So, it is true. Home is where you park it. A little bit more luxurious than our Walmart stay last night. But now, at least we are in the Dallas, Fort Worth area. And tonight we have a stay with our first Boondockers Welcome. It's basically this site you sign up for and you get a list of people who will let you stay on their property. It's like a covered patio, but it has full hookups, which is pretty awesome. And there's a little lake right beside it. So we're pretty excited about that. And then we're gonna go see what Fort Worth has to offer. Take the dogs on a walk. And we could tell Fort Worth is gonna be a good town. Just found $2 on the ground. Come up. You know how much fuel this is in Texas? We could basically fill the whole tank. This morning was interesting. We were sleeping and for some strange reason, the, a trash truck came and decided it would be a good idea to drop this dumpster right here at like five in the morning and sit there and idle his truck right by our bedroom for, I don't know, at least an hour. He sat there and idled. That was what was kind of weird. And then I, I got out and I looked and he was just sitting there eating a banana. So weird. Not cool. All right, we're all finished up here at Cracker Barrel. We actually are going to go to, what is it? Tribe 4x4 to have our bike rack fixed. I called them, they said, yeah, they can help us out. Um, we think it's easier just to fix this one than trying to buy a new one that's gonna be garbage again. So, it might be hard to tell, but this is the issue right here where my thumb is. The whole thing is basically cracking off. If we would have kept driving, we for sure would have lost the bikes. And then they were cable locked through the bumper, so we would have just literally dragged the bikes through Texas until they're completely gone or we noticed it. So we got the mount fixed. They added this gusset right here. And then they also welded it together so it's all one piece so there's not going to be as much bouncing or flex in it. A huge thanks to Tommy for the recommendation here at Tribe and then also to Lance and his guys for 
getting it done quickly and um, yeah just super cool guys they gave us a bunch of recommendations for the area as well let's go to our new camp spot here um, pretty amazing spot it's about 20 minutes north of Dallas Fort Worth this is a spot that we found on boondockers welcome we joined their service and they basically connect you with people who have areas that um, you know they allow you to stay on their property this is the property they have a covered patio with enough room for the truck and the trailer gravel pad we got a fire pit over here full hookups 50 amp surface so we can run the AC all that and then there's a dang pond over there see the pond over there it costs us literally nothing these are just nice people who set up this beautiful area and they just allow people to use it I think they're full-timers as well but I'm not a hundred percent hundred percent sure people are so nice so amazing I even want to do the differential change on the pickup and they told me they have a shop on site that I could use rather than laying in the in the gravel insane so nice when doctors welcome for the win date night they have a drive-in movie theater so we're gonna go check it out we're gonna go see Dumbo yeah Dumbo damn it you beat me to it I was gonna say gonna go see Dumbo with a Dumbo <laughs> serious about the rules here we were all worried so we hit our drinks under the back seat and then we get here and there's literally no one and they just like yeah go in have fun morning y'all trying to blend in <laughs> last night we went to the drive-in it was amazing it was so much fun I don't I don't know why they got rid of drive-ins it was really cool. It's so crazy. There's water everywhere in Texas. I had no idea. A little night out. We're here in Fort Worth. I believe we are going to a taco shop. I didn't I didn't plan tonight. So what are we doing? Hanging out with Megan. Hanging out with Megan? Who's Megan? Our friend. Okay, you gotta give him a little more details. Um she lives here. Very good. <laughs> just tell us what the street is. <laughs> so it's been gentrified this yeah. whole area. So like a lot of this stuff was like used to be houses and things like that, but now they're making it into these cute bars and cute places to drink. Like there's the usual cute little hole in the wall bar, you know? Like vegan restaurants and all there's usually live music somewhere, but yeah, it's kind of like a little artsy place, but it's cute. They cool. have a glass blowing place, like yeah. All sorts of fun stuff around here. We just ate at Salsa Limon, excellent street tacos, and now we're going to Avoca Coffee. Yeah. Well, that was a really fun evening. We hung out with our friend Megan. We got some tacos. We walked down Magnolia Street mm -hmm. here Saw, in Fort Worth. Saw coffee at a Boca Coffee. Boca Coffee was delicious. And we actually have plans for tomorrow night now because there's a barbecue place further down that we have to go to and they had really cool hats. Yeah. So we, we have, we have, to, have to, go to go to the hat store. To go get more hats. <laughs>